With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, a train starts from rest and decelerates uniformly at 100 meter per minute for 10 minutes. Find the velocity acquired by the train it, if the train maintains a constant velocity of 20 minutes. The brakes are then applied and the train is uniformly retarded. It comes to rest in 5 minutes. Draw the velocity time graph and use it to find. First of all, the retardation in the last 5 minutes. Second, total distance traveled. And third, the average velocity of the train. So now we have the graph here. Vertical line represents velocity. Horizontal line represents time. And as it is written, written in the equation, for 10 minutes, first of all, the train accelerates uniformly at 100 minute per meter square. So it will reach at a point of O to D in 10 minutes. And from D to E, as a, then it maintains a constant velocity for 20 minutes. And the brakes are then applied, the train is retarded and it comes to rest in 5 minutes. That's why this 5 means 35 total. So first of all we will see the formula of acceleration. Acceleration means final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. V represents our final velocity, U represents our initial velocity. So from this question we know that final velocity is equal to acceleration multiplied by time interval multiplied by time interval so now this is going to be 100 minute per meter square multiplied by 10 minutes is equal to 1000 meter meter per minute this is our what final velocity meter per minute so we know our final velocity now now first of all we will find the retardation in the last 5 minutes and to find the retardation first retardation retardation in the last 5 minutes in last 5 minutes so now for that we will find the slope of line BC is equal to minus slope of line BC and slope of line BC is equal to minus BE by EC and this is going to be 0 minus 1000 divided by 35 minus 30 by this graph be 0 minus 100 and ec 30 minus sorry, sorry 35 minus 30 now this is going to be minus 1000 divided by 5 200 meter per minute square now second we will find total distance traveled so now total distance traveled is total distance traveled and how we will find the total distance we will find area of trapezium OABC area of trapezium OA B C O A B C and this is going to be half of O C plus A B parallel lines plus sorry multiplied by A D now half thirty five 
plus 20 multiplied by 1000. This is going to be 55 multiplied by 500 is equal to 27500 meter. And if you convert this into kilometers, this is going to be 27.5 kilometers as 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. Now we need to find the last thing which is average velocity. So now third average velocity average velocity is going to be total distance divided by total time total distance divided by total time and this is going to be 27 5 sorry 27 27 500 meters divided by 35 minutes and this is going to be 785.7 meter per minute and this is our answer thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.